Hey gang, it's been a year since I did my review of Sunshine Fire Toys Solar Flare Heads. Where does the time go? Um, I promised a follow-up review for them and I am here to deliver. How do solar flares stack up over time as compared to other poi heads? Now, first a disclaimer. Due to a lot of factors, this isn't going to be as perfect an assessment as I would like. We're talking about props that sometimes get used repeatedly for several days and sometimes don't get used at all. I haven't made a detailed record of how much I've spun with these in the past year, so a lot of their comparison to other fire poi heads is going to be impressions and anecdotal evidence. It should be taken with a grain of salt. Now, just to review, Sunshine Fire Toys is a company run by a gentleman by the name of Keegan Kuvax, and he makes a variety of different tools. His approach to making fire poi heads is to have them taper at the top and bottom, giving them an egg shape as opposed to a barrel or rectangular prism shapes that we find in other styles of fire poi heads. Kuvax's thinking on this is that wear is more likely to occur where you find sharp angles, so his poi heads are an attempt to eliminate any such angles and hopefully make poi heads last longer as well as have more consistent burn time in the long run. So how do they hold up? The fact that I've been using the same heads a year and didn't realize it should probably tell you something to start with. I usually notice significant decreases in the lifespan of my tools, even after six months of use. As I shared a year ago, the dry weight of the poi heads are about 5 ounces per head, and wet weight is between 7.5 and 8 ounces. This hasn't changed at all, at least not within my capacity to measure a change in these weights. As for the burn time, a year ago they lasted roughly 5 minutes, while now they go about 4.5. This is a really relative measure because sometimes you have to spin faster and sometimes you have to spin slower. That said, it's a surprisingly small drop for these heads I've been using for over a year now. I'd feel totally comfortable using them for another six months. No problem. The last wicks I used before these were a set of three inch moon blaze style heads that have been seen used for about seven or eight months. And as you can see from the photos, there's a little bit of fraying at the tips of each one, but overall the fraying is far worse on the moon blazes. Also, the moon blazes were in use for several months less, so I think there's a case to be made here that solar flares are more durable. The one and only caveat I'll put on the performance of these heads is that they're prone to jellyfishes, that thing that people with torches sometimes do where they stall a torch upward and can put the flame out doing this. I have absolutely no idea what the physics of this is, why these heads might be more prone to jellyfish, or whether it's something unique about my style of spinning, but I can scarcely remember a spin I've done where I haven't accidentally put out one of these heads within the first minute of spinning. So overall, with a year of spinning these under my belt, I totally by that the design results in a longer prop life and more consistent performance. The weight and weight distribution feels great, and I'll have no problem continuing to spin with these all the way through the spring. I think Kuvox and Sunshine Fire Toys have a great design, and I'm probably going to go back to them when the time comes for me to get new heads. Good job, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey guys, just a quick thank you to all my backers out there on Patreon. Thank you guys for continuing to support me as I have been working on my next series of videos. Uh, everybody loved the Flow Arts 1-on-1 -on series, and I wanted to follow it up with something that I hoped would be at least as much use. So I've got three different series that are in the process of being put together right now and will be out there to the world very, very soon. In the meantime, if you guys found this video inspiring, if you found the information helpful, uh, please visit me at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up to help support me in creating these videos. And uh, thank you all so much for watching out there.